with me on the phone is, I, I mean, he's a rock legend. He's one of the best guitar players on the planet. I think all the licks that you hear on the radio have either been invented by this guy. I mean, he, he, he invented so many things back in those days. He's been on so many albums. He's from the Detroit area, up where I'm from. And uh, just just to give you a brief uh, background, he has done amazing songs with Alice Cooper, Aerosmith, Kiss, Lou Reed, Peter Gabriel, Meatloaf, Steve Perry, Etta James, Rod Stewart, Tina Turner, Air Supply, Hall & Oates, Ringo Starr, Guns N' Roses, Tori Amos, Frank Sinatra, and dozens of others. He's, he's, he's with my guest today is the legendary guitarist Dick Wagner is on the phone with us right now. Hey, Dick, how you doing today, sir? Say hello to everybody. Just let me say hello to everybody who's listening. And, uh... Thanks for all the support over the years for the things that I have done, and uh, it's been a, it's been quite a journey. Oh, I'm telling you, it's a, it's been amazing, uh, Dick. If I was to just uh, come come across and say, if I give one of these names on these lists that you worked with, can you give us a little history of what it was like to be with them and work with them, and 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 uh, like for instance, uh, uh, the one that comes to mind would be <clears throat> Lou Reed, for instance. What was it like working with Lou Reed? Well, Lou. Wow, <laughs> Lou Reed is a, is a strange person, but he was, at least during the years I worked with him. But uh, his songwriting is just undeniable. Very simple, but profound little things, uh, like heroin, song heroin. And, uh, what, what happened with me and him is they finally hired me. And the first time I auditioned for them, um, they didn't take me, but that was a different band backing him up, and that band got fired, and then they called me to put a band together. Um, so we put together this rock and roll animal band, and I listened to his songs, and I thought to myself, the only thing that is really needed here is to take his songs. I mean, he was originally with the Velvet Underground, and that was definitely an underground kind of band. It was never mainstream. I wanted to take his songs more mainstream and more like for coliseums and big big arenas. So I I did arrangements on his songs that were, you know, more majestic. You know, I like writing majestic things. And uh, put that together, rehearsed the band in one show at Tanglewood up in, in uh, Massachusetts and they left for a European tour. And we were out for like a month touring Europe and getting rave reviews, huge crowds, and just phenomenal audiences. They went nuts. The band, they were paying more attention to the band than they were Lou Reed's. So he he was not so uh, happy about that. And so at the end of the tour, he fired the band because we were too good. <laughs> <laughs> go <What>? figure. <laughs> yeah, go figure so, that one. Yeah. But, I, you know, I did these arrangements that... Uh, if you listen to Rock and Roll Animal and then listen to The Velvet Underground, you'll hear some of the same songs, but you'll hear the way I treated them and the way that they were originally recorded. And I think I took them into another another whole level of live uh, you know, performance. And he got his first gold record because of that. So Rock and Roll Animal was his first gold record. Wow. All right, here's another name. And, and this one... You worked with probably the most of anybody out there, um, and he was the most bizarre on the scene at that time as far as the, the, his antics on stage and different things that he did. Let's talk about Alice Cooper and what it was like for you when you first met Alice Cooper and, and working with him. Alice Cooper is a genius. I agree. I mean, he is a genius. Um, we got along absolutely beautifully. We used to we start writing songs, and we'd have to laugh for like an hour before we could actually write a real song. Because <laughs> we'd come up with all these bizarre songs just just trying to shock each other, you know. And uh, so we got along great. And we wrote a lot of music together. I did like uh, five or six albums with him. I toured with him. Um, we became really close friends in Toronto when we were doing this album called Dada, which I think is one of the best Alice Cooper albums. Wow. Along with Welcome to My Nightmare. But he's now he's more like a, he's more sub, subdued. He does he tours nine months out of the year. He really works all the time, and this so he's always gone. I, we live in the same city now, Phoenix, Arizona. So it's uh, it's difficult to get together with him because he does a lot of charity things, 
which I'm starting to do too, so it's, it's probably even going to get worse, but we do occasionally see each other, and uh, when we can, we try to write something. I'm, I brought him in on a project I'm working on now to write uh, with me three songs for this uh, album I'm producing, uh, named Mary Ann Cotton from Denmark. Well, it's starting to get famous in Europe, and I'm doing their second album I'm producing it. But that's neither here nor there. Uh, Alice Cooper uh, is a genius. He's a great guy. Um, we get along great. Um, I have a, I have a song on his last album, his latest album, and uh, it's really good. And uh, he did a great job on it. So I'm always in touch and, and working with him to some extent. Tell me about Welcome to My Nightmare. Uh, t- tell me about that album. Because I, I think that was his, what, biggest album that he put out was my, Welcome to My uh, Nightmare? The tour was by far the biggest um, tour that Alice has ever done. And uh, there was, you know, the ABC television special and the documentary film and all those things attached to it that, you know, made that Nightmare Project probably the most significant of Alice's career. You guys wrote, what, about 50, 50 songs together that were featured on, like, 57 of Alice Cooper's albums? I mean, you, you wrote the, the bulk of it together. You and him wrote that stuff, didn't you? Yeah. That's incredible. Indeed. That's in- Indeed. So I feel like I'm really part of an integral part of Alice Cooper's career. Yeah, I think you were. Um, okay. I'm, let- happy. I'm happy for him that way, you know. Yeah. So, so- Good guy. He, deserved, he was an innovator all the way down the line, and... He finally got recognized this last year in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame after all those years. I mean, it's about time, really. Yeah, that's, that's what I think about you, too. It's about time you're in there as well. Um, let me ask you uh, another name, uh, Meatloaf. You worked with Meatloaf for one time. 